in a miscarriage, how does the HCG decline? The initial decline after two days when you have a miscarriage is between 35 to 50%. The minimum decline is between 21 to 35%, depending on the HCG value. So if you have an initial HCG of 2000, that decline, there's around a 58% decline. After seven days, the HCG, the average decline of HCG is 66 to 87%. And that's you, there where you see a reduction. The minimum decline is between 60 and 84%, again, de depending on the HCG value. Higher HCG levels correlate with a faster decline. As a woman ages, HCG declines slowly after miscarriage. If there is pain, HCG may decline faster. Now, a decline slower than these thresholds may indicate ectopic pregnancy. When do they reach zero? It's difficult to say. With early miscarriages, HCG levels may reach zero within the weeks, while with higher HCG levels, with a miscarriage, HCG levels may reach zero over many weeks and may need to be followed. Declining HCG levels usually indicate that there is a non-viable pregnancy and the rate of decline will tell you between a normal miscarriage and other conditions such as an ectopic pregnancy. Thus, it's very important then to do every 48 to 72 hours HCG to get a better assessment and to come to a diagnosis of whether there's going to be a miscarriage or there's a risk of an ectopic pregnancy.